Hi everyone. Welcome back to Grandpa Mark's Hobbies and a quick tour of my uh, spray booth. What this is, is this is a tote that I stole from the wife and a 14 by 25 by one furnace filter. And these right here on either side are just pegboard hooks. And what I do is I'll turn them from the top to release to this one release and that frees the filter up so I can pull it out and behind the filter is a whole bunch of trash that roll back there but you see bathroom fan that I found in the trash and all it needed was a little bit of oil and it was back up to snuff and running so I don't have 10 cents in this what I did and you can see I messed up here but what I did is on the other side of this there's four screw holes, and all I did was drilled um, drywall screws right through. I cut this out with a saber saw. It took me all of about five minutes. You know, I set it on there, drew a line with a Sharpie, and cut the line off. So there's that. I put four drywall screws in here to hold the filter away from this. And then you just take the filter put it up against the, the screws on the bottom and sorry I'm doing this by hand I'm sorry put it in the screws on the thing I use just to squirt so I can see now see I push it back in I'll come up here I'll flip this around and that holds it back in place easy peasy on the back of the fan, I have that flexible silver hose. And right now, I just have it running down to the ground. If I ever go to do lacquer, I'm going to make that out of PVC pipe. And I'll run it out um, to the right to the window. So now let's go on to my airbrush. And I am one cheap son of a gun. And this is a Harbor Freight Special. It was 24 bucks, 25 bucks, or something like that. It's a two stage. Um, I've had pretty good luck with these. I have that. I bought my cleaner from Harbor Freight. You see, I'm going to spray tonight. My cleaner is from Harbor Freight. I use Tamiya thinner and uh, paint retarder when I mix my colors. And when I clean the brush, I use. 91% isopropyl alcohol, which I usually leave right there. Um, I also bought this spray brush, which just clips onto bottles so I can do big surface coats. It puts out a good amount of paint, and it, it's not bad. It's good for, like, doing a matte finish or things like that. I really got it. It was 10 bucks, and I got it for the five bottles that came with it. So there's that one, and then my buddy Scott, years and years ago, and I have no information on this thing, gave me this bad boy. And if you want to coat a ship's hull, like a 1350 of the ship's hull, this is the bad dog for you. It lays the paint down, and I'm telling you, you pull this trigger, and it, it's a siphon feed. When you pull the trigger, you give it a second, and the paint is flying, and it takes a bunch of paint in a hurry. The pressure's a little bit higher, so you got to watch your distances and your th how you thin the paint. But it works like a dream. Now let's come down to my right, towards the ground. There's my silver hose that I was telling you about that runs back and up. I have a Harbor Freight three-gallon pie pan. The regulator, I keep it right about 60 on that one. And then it comes down, and this was a Harbor Freight air dryer and a Harbor Freight regulator that I found an old uh, gauge that I put on it, and I run right around 8 to 10. Um, when I spray Future, I run about 25, and when I use that one from Scott's, I run almost 30. So it's just that. I put a quick disconnect on so I could switch in between them real fast, and that's it. So I hope I inspired you. Go ahead and make your own. It's really simple, and if you can be frugal about it, <laughs> this thing only cost me about 150 bucks, including the uh, air compressor. So don't be afraid to dumpster dive.
But anyhow, thank you for watching. I am Mark. This is Grandpa Mark's Hobbies, and you all have a great day.